Hey, welcome to Tech Jungle. Today we're looking at the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. I've been using this on my wrist now for about four or five days now. I just want to give you my initial impressions. And so let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the display. Um, it's super crisp, vibrant, sharp, colorful. Um, I gave the original Galaxy Watch a knock for the pixel density. However, I've been using the Apple Watch Series 5 and really comparing both of these watches and I can't really notice that big of a difference with the, uh, the density of pixels. And so I just want to retract my initial complaint with the original Galaxy Watch because this watch has the same resolution and it's really sharp and I've been enjoying it. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, since this is a 40 millimeter version, I was using it uh, pretty much throughout the entire day, pretty much in a 16 hour period. So I'd put it on about seven o'clock in the morning and I would take it off about 11 o'clock at night and I'd have about 25% battery remaining. So if you're one of those you know, types who wake up in the morning, put the watch on after it's been charging, take it off at night, um, within 16 to 18 hours, you should be completely fine with the smaller version. Now with the larger version, I'm sure you get a, a lot longer battery, maybe a day and a half. So, uh, and this is, with using, this is with also using the always on display activated and receiving notifications throughout the entire day. Uh, so I just want to make that uh, a point that if you're just a, a normal user and you wear it 16 hours a day, you should be completely fine. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the health tracking. So I've been using the Samsung app on the iPhone 10 and uh, it's been tracking most of the stuff that you would get on your Apple Watch health tracker. So you get uh, you know, how active you've been, how many steps you've walked, um, your blood, uh, your BPM. Uh, you can also include you know, what you've been eating throughout the day. You can go for a run. You can uh, track your weight. Um, and I haven't tried the sleep yet. I, I may try that uh, one of these days uh, when I do my, my in-depth review just to see how that works. And so overall, it's been great to be able to track my health uh, using the Samsung Health app uh, for iOS. So next thing I want to talk about is the customization. So with the Galaxy Watch Active 2, you can really get into depth with uh, how you want to customize uh, your watch. Uh, there's thousands and thousands of watch faces in the Galaxy Store. Uh, one way to access it is to make sure that you have Wi-Fi enabled and then you can go directly uh, to the, um, the store here. I'm probably going the long route, but you can go to the Galaxy Store here and see I have to set up Wi-Fi. Uh, but once you do, then you can go through and you can access thousands of watch faces. So uh, the customization on the Galaxy Watch Active 2 over the Apple Watch Series 5 is just far superior because there's just tons and tons of watch faces. And as you can see here, let me back out. Um, as you can see here, I've added a few of my favorite uh, from the... Um, from the Galaxy Store. Uh, let's go the other way. So there you go. So there's tons of watch faces that I've already included. Uh, one of my favorite ones is this digital one here. You just get a lot of information. And uh, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed it. So uh, customizing the watch, if you're using an iPhone, you shouldn't have an issue. Uh, you're, it's not as in-depth as if you were using the uh, Galaxy Watch paired with a Galaxy phone or with an Android phone because the Android app um, allows you to get more in detail. It's almost uh, it's about as detailed as you using the uh, Apple Watch app for your Apple Watch. So what I mean by that, uh, you can change the watch faces from the phone. It'll, it'll automatically in real time change it on the watch. You can't do that with an iOS, with the iOS app uh, as far as I know. Uh, you have to do everything directly from the watch and it's not that big of an issue if you know it kind of keeps you from just tinkering throughout the entire day trying to find the perfect watch face it's like I'll, I'll put a watch face on and i'll leave it for the rest of the day and i'm fine and uh and so yeah it's uh it hasn't been a big issue for me uh, i also want to say that uh, it's really comfortable so it's just as comfortable as using uh, the apple watch uh, it's it's really feels nice in the wrist. It's nice and light because this is the aluminum version 
Um, one thing that I do want to mention is the display uh, or the screen with the OG Galaxy Watch you had that rotating bezel that physical rotating bezel uh, with this one since you don't um, I've been concerned about scraping the, this thing up against a brick wall or something and completely just destroying that that screen so I've been looking on Amazon you you're kind of limited as far as what you can get uh, case wise uh, so I may get like a laminate screen protector and just put that over it so uh, I don't have that worry feeling when I'm kind of walking next to a brick wall or something. Uh, so I just wanted to throw that out there so if you are concerned, probably get a laminate screen protector just to make sure you get that extra protection. The touchless bezel is pretty awesome. Um, you have to get used to it and when you initially get the, uh, the watch, it's not activated so you can either go into the settings here to change it or you can go into the phone and change it here so the way you find it on the phone is you go to advance and it's this one right here touch bezel so initially when you when you get the watch it's deactivated and so when I was using it I was like okay I can't get anything to move but you have to activate it and that's the way you get it done so I just wanted to throw that out there just in case you were concerned about not being able to use the touch bezel you have to activate it on the the device itself or through the the, the phone app um, the next thing I want to talk about is the uh, notifications so with the iPhone you're you're limited as far as being able to respond to notifications I've uh, seen my notifications pop through on both watches at the same time and I'm able to respond on the Apple watch directly you can't do that um, when using a, an iPhone uh, with this watch but you still get the notifications if it's an SMS text you see everything that the person uh, texted you uh, emails you'll see kind of the first uh, couple lines like you would on, on your uh, lock screen on your phone uh, so anything that you would pretty much see on your lock screen it'll pop up and show on the watch itself um, you just can't respond to it and so the first two or three days it was kind of you know cumbersome to have to see the notification here and not be able to respond to it and have to pick up my phone to do it um, when it's kind of convenient to do it with this watch but you get over it and if I only had one watch uh, I wouldn't say that that would be a deal breaker if uh, if you're an iPhone user obviously if you're a Galaxy phone user or just a, an Android phone user you're completely fine you get full functionality with the watch as far as being able to respond to to notifications uh, via the watch but uh, as an iPhone user you're kind of limited which to me like I said not a big deal breaker and so yeah, I'm really excited to uh, test this uh, Galaxy Watch Active 2 a little bit further so I can have an in-depth review for y'all in, in a few more days. Uh, but my initial impressions is I love this watch and I just love how you can customize it the way you want it. And uh, it's been uh, really fun to use it. I just need to get a screen protector because I'm terrified of using this outside the house. But other than that, um, Please stay tuned for more videos. I will have a comparison between these two, definitely from an iPhone perspective, an iPhone user perspective, because uh, you can't use a, an Apple Watch with an Android phone, but you can use the Galaxy Watch with, with an iPhone with just a couple of small drawbacks. So um, I think if you're in the market for a watch and you're an iPhone user, uh, you kind of have options here. Uh, so just wanted to put that out there. Like I said, stay tuned for more videos. I'll have a review and I'll have a comparison and some more uh, other good ones for y'all. Uh, again, this is Tech Jungle and I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all take care.